Oh. Well, Craig, we, we are officially recording via Zoom. How there are you go. doing? I am actually doing pretty good, even though I spent the day at the dentist and I haven't been in quite a while. So that was uh, an interesting experience. Well, now I understand, I can understand why it hasn't been recent because you've been in Haiti. Have you thought about visiting a, a dentist in Haiti or why, why did yeah, you wait? Why did you go in Haiti? Well, I actually went with one of my Haitian guys there to have him have some stuff done. They pull teeth, but they use pliers like you got out in the garage there. And I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and wait oh, oh, until I get home. Let me now let I'm me in pray Branson. I'm in Branson. They're professionals at pulling teeth down here. Which is really unusual with the bald knobbers. I'm really yeah. surprised there are professionals. Well, that's the first question they ask. They say, when you say, I need to have this tooth pulled out, they say, are you in one of the shows? <laughs> <laughs> when you want the front tooth out? Billy, Billy Bob. Give me my Billy Bob teeth. Exactly. Oh, my gosh. Craig, I am so excited to have you preach at LPC while I'm on sabbatical. I'm actually in Newton, Kansas. Everyone wants to do their sabbatical in Newton. I'm at my aunt and uncle's house. I'm in their home in their back patio. Uh, in fact, my uncle Jay is doing some work around the project. It's this great little town and country lot. I'm just enjoying the silence and solitude, although I'm being loud and with you on Zoom right now. <laughs> but I'm excited about what you're going to preach about. What what will you be preaching on this this Sunday that people get? You're, you're preaching the whole month of June, but what are you going to kick us off with this this June? Well, this I'm going to start off with uh, Joshua chapter three, which is really the story. Not they haven't crossed the river into the promised land yet, but they're about to. And the basic gist is uh, Joshua is telling them, "Don't move until the ark moves, and then you follow." And this is like uh, so contrary to our culture's approach, which is, oh, follow your heart. <laughs> and Joshua is saying, no, 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 follow the ark. In fact, one of the most difficult things about being a follower of Jesus is we recognize the heart is deceitful. We don't follow the heart. We wait. And that's why the word wait is in scripture so many times to wait on God when the ark moves you move. And that's for me personally, it's also uh, probably the hardest thing about my own discipleship is I want to get going. I want to go do things. And I, what's the plan, God? And, and oftentimes he said, why don't you just wait until the ark moves and then follow? Oh, oh you and me both, Craig. I, I have a, <laughs> a, a real problem with waiting. That That is, that yeah. is a challenge. I've heard it said that God has something more for you in the waiting than reaching the destination oftentimes. Yeah. And that's, that's hard. Well, this is going to be great for our community yeah. to hear you preach. And of course, as you know, your son, one of your three sons, Kevin, I had to choose one. I landed on Kevin. Yeah. No, no, yeah. no, no nothing against Scotty and Corey, but no, uh, Kevin's a good one. Good come one. on. He's a good one. I went right in the middle, landed, landed on Kevin. Right. And uh, we are thrilled to have him as our youth pastor and he and Allison and Lewis and Mabel are just a, a great addition to our family. Do you have, by the way, I don't know, I didn't really ask you this, like an embarrassing moment on Kevin? Was there ever a moment where Kevin might have had an embarrassing oh, yeah. moment in the McIlvain lore? Many, but the one we talk about, he was third son. Oh, so third, third, not the, sorry, my bad. Oh, no, He I'm was our number three son. And so number one and number two, Scott and Corey, you know, when we'd go get in the, in the mom van, They'd fight over shotgun. Who gets who gets to ride shotgun? So they're like, "No, oh, I call them for you." They're arguing. And Kevin, when he was little, he had a really high voice, and so Kevin had already given up on that. So he'd say, "I call the back seat." <laughs> <laughs> and so our phrase as a family, our phrase as a family used to be, "Everybody should be Kevin." Guys, you'd be a lot happier if you'd learn to be like Kevin. <laughs> oh, that is so, oh, that's a great message from the father of Kevin. Everyone should be more like Kevin. That's really the motto at LPC. Everyone should be more like Kevin. There you go. I wish I could be more like Kevin. That, that, that's, that's what I'll, yeah. with a high voice, with a high voice. Oh, that's great. That's great. Yeah. Well, I, no, I, 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 I don't know. Will Laurel, will your wife Laurel be joining you anytime in the month of June? She's coming back and forth. So yeah, back and forth. actually my middle son who lives in Kansas City, uh, he's having a gender reveal party 
this Saturday. So she'll Fantastic. come up for the week this weekend. But then she she sells real estate down here now, so she's got to get back to close some deals. I it's guess. going bonkers now. <laughs> now, what grandchild? What number grandchild will this be for Corey and so, so well, not, Cecilia, not Cecilia. My oldest, Scotty. Yeah, Celicia. Celicia, thank you, Scotty. Please. My oldest has three kids down here. Uh, Kevin obviously has two, and this uh-huh. is number one for uh, Corey and Celicia. Fantastic. So they're pretty excited. <laughs> and and you are called like G Daddy by everybody, or what 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 are you? No, they call me uh because my youngest uh, my oldest now, Hudson, he couldn't say what we initially said, so he just started calling me Peepaw. Peepaw. So that's who I am. I'm Peepaw. Peepaw awesome. so like works great. Let's go with it. So, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Well, Peepaw, you are the grand Pooh Bear, Pooba. All those things. We're so We're excited to have fun. you share the share the word at LPC. I'm blessed by you. You're a part of my faith heritage. Of course, having part of your family and our church family blesses me. So thank you. And our church is in for a real treat. So God bless. I'll be praying for you from afar, from a distance. And we'll catch <laughs> up later this summer. Can prayer get through from Newton? <laughs> there have been studies. There have been studies that reveal Along I thirty, oh, there's a toll. There's a toll to, to be paid, but, ah, I, but it'll get it'll get there. <laughs> it'll get there. <laughs> thank well, thank you, you Craig. You. I appreciate you, brother. Pro- I appreciate you. God bless. All right, thanks, Ryan. See. You. Bye.